you diligently search the scriptures, for by them you think you possess eternal life. And these are they which testify of me. Yet you refuse to come to me to have life. In the West, I believe we've adopted a mindset that the highest form of faith is to live void of encounter and filled with knowledge over issues. How can you do training outside of His manifest presence? The vision of the Forerunner School of Ministry is to raise up messengers, young men and young women, to go forth with the power of the Holy Spirit. We are seeking to redefine theological education through night and day prayer. That's not just a tagline. We really believe that the life of prayer is central to the raising up of preachers, evangelists, prophets, teachers, and apostles. So we want to effect not just a transformation of the mind with academic theological understanding, but we want to equip the heart with radical transformation that would be acquired in the place of prayer. I mean, it's a whole different approach to, to theology. Theology is not just an, an external substance. Theology is the study of a person called God. Night and day prayer isn't a little salt on the meal. It's not a little added thing that we do. We're really students that pray. No, we're intercessors that are students. <laughs> We're intercessors that learn. I can't separate studying and prayer. Like, I can't separate my mind and my heart. I just can't anymore because they fuel one another. Intercession is the seedbed where God's Word moves from your mind to your heart and empowers the will to live in godliness and do whatever He asks you to do on the earth. I came for FSM, but I think the main reason that I stay is because of the prayer room, to actually take what I'm learning in the classroom and to actually turn it into dialogue with the Lord, where I actually begin to know His heart. We make it part of the credit system, where our students are given credit to go into the place of prayer. To be a student, you have to spend time in the prayer. And that is that to me is, is so important, and it's, it's been the biggest thing that's changed my heart while I've been here. We want to send forth those that are trained deeply in the Word of God. This experience at FSM is an experience in the reality of God. This is an experience that reaches you at a heart level. It is absolutely gut-wrenching for you to be in one of these classes. In, within our department of Bible and Theology, we have training tracks for those who are called to be theologians. That would be our Biblical Studies program. We have a training track for those who are called to be set Annas in the House of Prayer. That would be our Worship and Prayer program. And we have a track designed for those who are called to be uh, forerunners and proclaimers of the gospel with power and that would be our apostolic preaching program. And the way the school is set up here is actually much more difficult and rigorous than the four-year university that I went to. And the university I went to was voted top 10 university in the nation for the last eight or ten years. So one thing I think FSM does that creates the context in which truth can really get into a heart and make a difference. We're after wounding you over the true reality of God and pointing you in the direction of seeking and finding Him. The thing that I'm looking for is that I want students to be captured by the beauty of Jesus, truly. I mean, it, when, when I'm teaching a class, that's the thing that I'm thinking about. The faculty at FSM is incredible. It's probably one of the strongest points of FSM is that every class that you take is being taught by a teacher who's teaching their passion. Our faculty are given to modeling the way in the context of a thriving mission base. You're not gonna be asked to do anything that your professors have not done and are not doing. I think it's the first class that I've ever been in where I'm sitting in class and all of a sudden the teacher will get silent and then say, okay, I really feel the Lord taking this in a different direction. Let's all stand up and pray. And then all of a sudden healing starts breaking out everywhere. And God, uh met me in a very, very special way, a way that uh, I had not seen him uh, in over 50 years. 
what we do as a community is so profound because we actually have that camaraderie where we can stand next to one another and bring each other along and sharpen one another in the knowledge of God and the Word and in prayer and challenge each other to go forward and it makes faithfulness and steadiness in that place so much easier. When you sit in a classroom with students and friends who are telling you what the Lord's doing in their heart, it provokes you and gives you deeper understanding at the same time. The only place that I can go out to lunch with students and we spend the whole time talking about the end times or prophesying over one another. And I think that that's probably one of the reasons why I love FSM so much. There are hundreds of thousands of missionaries. If we have a conversation with them, they would say that the number one issue is not so much that we are lack of good methodology, but it's because the vessel is less than prepared. We want more than just man-endorsed degrees. We want God-endorsed lives. That is what we want to see coming out of the Foreign School of Ministry. We're going to raise up vessels of honor and dignity who live the Sermon on the Mount, contend for the power of the Holy Spirit, so they can be bond servants for Jesus to tell the rest of the earth about it. That's why we're doing this. We need to see the power that we saw in the book of Acts, along with the lifestyles of devotion, the lifestyles of holiness, of men and women that are deep in the Word of God be raised up. At FSM, we are being prepared to be a voice. Maybe nameless and faceless, but nevertheless, we're being prepared to be a voice that actually prepares the church for His second coming. And so God's raising up messengers. They're forerunners that are preparing the church and the lost as to what's coming on God's agenda. We are training individuals to be catalysts on the earth to do the works of the kingdom as they live a lifestyle of ministry to the Lord and intercession for the harvest to come forth.